Hey guys, Russ here with bishopswest.com and I wanted to tell you about my wife. <laughs> she is smart, beautiful, talented, um, and also very practical and responsible. So, you know, smart, beautiful, talented, these are all great things that I love very much. The responsible and practical, yeah, sometimes. Um, okay, I, 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 I do, but some days, um, for example, about three weeks ago, I saw a couple of videos about Eventide's new plugin called Split EQ Plus. And um, if you don't know what it does, it just splits your signal into the transients in the body and then lets you uh, apply EQ to either of those separately. Um, the videos that I watched were very positive and they made it sound like the greatest thing since sliced bread or parametric EQ or whatever it was. So I uh, mentioned this to my wife and she listened while I tried to explain it. Now she doesn't ex share my interest in music production despite being a very talented pianist and everything. Um, so when I started explaining this to me, uh, her first question was, well, don't you have any plugins that do the same thing already? Um, and crud, <laughs> you know, maybe I did. So I went back to the drawing board, opened up Bitwig and started playing around. Now, I'll give you an out. If you're looking for something that does exactly the same thing that Split EQ does, um, and you have a hundred bucks burning a hole in your pocket, then just stop watching now. Um, I couldn't find anything that did exactly the same thing as Split EQ, so um, stop watching and go buy it now. But if you're still here and you're still watching, then let me show you kind of, I, I guess you'd call it the poor man's way of doing this. It works with any um, DAW, I think, depending on how the routing works. Um, everything that I've used should be able to do it. And I think you can get some more interesting results maybe besides just the EQ. So let's take a minute and dive in and I'll show you how I would achieve it. And then, um, you know, you can play and decide if you like it and how you want to do it yourself. So uh, let's dive in. Okay, so here we are in Bitwig and I've got this beat loaded up. I'll let you listen real fast. So what I'd like to do is um, maybe make that a little bit clearer. Kind of the general idea is, and you know, this is good for Bitwig, of course, but Ableton, pretty much any DAW, as long as you can do routing to separate tracks. The general idea is that I'm going to throw a, a FX layer on here. And within this layer, I'm going to just use Bitwig's stock transient control, but you know, there are other um, transient effects plugins that you can use. I like the one from Melda since it's free, um, but you know, a lot of DAWs come with their own stuff. In this case, I'm just going to use a stock um, transient controller from, from Bitwig. And then the other thing I'm going to do is add a second layer with Guess what? Another transient control. And this one, I'm going to change the name to attack. And I'm going to turn the sustain part all the way down and leave the attack where it is. And then this one, I'm going to label. Can you guess? Yeah, sustain. Um, although, honestly, I usually call it body, but whatever. And in this case, on this one, I'm going to turn the gain all the way down on the attack side. So what's happening is on this first layer, I'm just letting the attack through. On the second layer, I'm just letting the sustain through. So let's test that theory just to make sure. I'm going to mute the sustain. That's what it would sound like if it was just the attack. If it was just the sustain. Okay, so uh, first thing I want to do, I think, with the sustain part of it is, 
from here behind here, I'm just going to add an EQ, which is, um, again, the, the basic idea behind that split EQ. And in this case, I think I want to hear a little bit more of the body of that snare, which is going to be right in here. Okay. Uh, maybe if I can get a little bit more of the high end from the hats. Although those aren't very sustained, so I'll probably need to do that more in the attack section. Okay. And then in the attack, so let's go ahead and add an EQ in here. Like I said, I wanted to hear more of that high end in the attack. So I could get rid of it almost altogether. So that's kind of interesting. I'm taking out a lot of the mid frequencies from the snare in the attack, but then those kind of come back in in the sustain part of it. Right? The other thing now is, and I can't do this with the, with the split EQ, is I want to also affect the attack of the bass drum. Um, so I'm going to throw a compressor on here and just try to get that attack tamed down a little bit. Oops. Wrong one. So in this case, I want that attack to quick to kick in really quickly. Uh, the release doesn't matter so much ratio i'm just kind of leaving it where it was i think it's usually like two to one somewhere in there and the threshold you can see i've got it affecting quite a bit if i brought it all the way down here then it's way over compressed Right, you can hear that difference. So now all together, so without so you know it's kind of personal taste if you like that or not. This is more for demonstrations. I'd probably want to right. So depending on what you're trying to do, but that's kind of the general idea behind it. It's really not that complicated. You just need two layers. So you're running them in parallel. You've got one layer for the attack and one layer for the, for the sustain. You know, whatever plugin you have that lets you separate the transient and the sustain, the transient and the body, you can do the same kind of thing. So there you have it. That's how I would do it in Bitwig Studio. Like I said, you could do the same thing almost exactly in Ableton, I would imagine. Um, I know you can do the same thing in Cakewalk and Studio One, um, other DAWs, I don't know, you're on your own. I hope you found this interesting and helpful, enlightening, um, and that it sparks your imagination a little bit and inspires you to try some new things. Uh, again, thanks for watching. If you haven't yet, please go to bishopswest.com slash bitwig setup. You'll find a free guide there for you that shows you how to set up Bitwig Studio to quickly get started making music. Uh, it's called Accelerate Your Music Making in Bitwig Studio. And it's just a free gift to you. Enter your email and I'll send you the link. Uh, nothing too major.
you won't get a ton of spam from me, I promise. And yeah, that's it. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.